she's cute and she builds airplanes. All right, so I'm holding a little bit of hardware fresh from the parts room. What do we got here? Yeah, I have to go get them myself. So we have here, this is an AN bolt and a steel bushing, and then also a bronze oiled bushing. We're gonna use those to create this hinge point. Uh, so on this hinge, we're going to install the oiled bronze bushing in here. That'll actually get bonded in with Loctite. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yep, and then this steel bushing rides inside of it. And what kind of a fit are we looking for there? The whole idea is to have the steel bushing right inside of the bronze bushing instead of rotating the steel bushing on the bolt. That's gonna create wear on the bolt. Uh, so that moves easily. So we want that, that same fit or better inside of the oiled bushing to kind of force it to go in there. Uh, you'll actually find that in some judging circles, say at Oshkosh, that you would actually uh, have to explain this to the judges. Most of them will just look at this and assume that because on a hinge point, a rotating point like that, that it should be a castle nut with a pin. Mm -hmm. And in this case, because we're using the oil bushing and the steel bushing, you're not required to use that. You can uh, use the lock nut, which of course is what we're, we're gonna show. Uh, we'll start by putting the, this hinge point here, the pivot point where uh, we're gonna mount the horizontal to the fuselage. And so we'll go through that so that we can actually get this put on the aircraft. And uh, we'll see you in just a minute. All right. All right, so check this out. <laughs> the oiled bronze bushing. You should pass a reamer through here before you try and do anything. So use your uh, 3125 reamer, ream these guys out. So I'm gonna caution you in a couple of ways about the oiled bushing. They are soft and you can if you over clamp it, you can distort it uh, in, in any direction. So if you go put this in a vise or a pair of pliers or something to hold it so you can ream it, you run the risk of distorting that. Mm -hmm. Additionally, the uh, Loctite that we use to bond this into the steel bushings that are attached in the hinge, um, that Loctite moves real quick. And so you have to work quickly to get that in there, get it positioned before that Loctite sets. What a lot of guys will do is put a clamp in there or something to, to kind of pull it into place. And by doing that, you can distort it. By clamping your hardware down tight, you can distort it. So I'm gonna caution you just to be careful with that. So if you have fitment issues, always check with us. Call us and find out first. But you may need to take this down a little bit. Um, I'll show you a technique for doing that. In this particular case, on our airplane, that steel bushing doesn't go into the bronze bushing. So I'll ream this. If it still doesn't fit quite right, then I will start working on the outside edge of the steel bushing to get the fitment I want inside of the bronze bushing. So really there's not much I can do past reaming this. Uh, if you had you know, a lathe or something like that, you definitely could go and, and, and work it that way. Most people don't. So in this case, I'm gonna work the outside of the bushing. Let me actually show you real quick what I'm gonna do there. So here is a scrap bolt. And you can kind of see, maybe, how this edge, I've kind of tapered it down to a little bit of a bullet. And that helps with aligning stuff sometimes. If the, uh, if the standard bolt won't go in, you don't want to destroy the threads. So a lot of times you shape this down to a bullet and it just fits in a lot easier. It helps kind of align everything, use it as an alignment pin. But for now, I'm going to use it as something to hold my bushing. And then we can actually chuck it into a drill. I actually prefer doing this on a drill press. Get that good and tight, and if you get it up against the chuck, it's not gonna, it's not gonna rotate on there. That's not rotating. Take a small piece of sandpaper. In this case, I'm using 220. Oh, I make it, I make it look easy, don't I? Okay. And then in this fashion here, just let that work down the outside of that. Just go back and forth. Okay, so that's gonna do two things. We can, we can take the bushing down a little bit. This is an easy way to kind of clean up the outside if you have any nicks or burrs on it. And sometimes you can take a little bit off if you need 
for fitting into the bushing. So you're going to want to not only do the inside of this bushing, but the outside of this bushing yeah. as well, not just one side. Just to get the right glide, the right kind of fit you want with that. Oh, that's nice. Is that much better? That is nice. Okay, so we'll repeat that, get yep. the rest of the bushings put in here, and uh, we'll show bonding that in. Oh, that just goes right through. <laughs> All right, next up, we're going to permanently install the oil light bushing into the horizontal. We do that with a liquid bearing lock compound that uh, is a retaining compound. This stuff moves fast, dries fast, smells, smells kind of yummy. Don't eat it, okay? Now we're going to apply a little bit to the outside of the oil bushing. I would recommend rubbing this down with alcohol. And I would also recommend having a stack of paper towels handy because as we press it in there, it's going to squeeze out and it could potentially go everywhere. Messy, yep. okay. So typically you can just put a little bit of this on the leading on the portion side. of the uh, of the bearing, and then we're going to put it in. And I do just a little twist as I go in. And depending on how your reaming is gone, you may have to press it hard. You may have to give it a little a little English, as they say. And then we're going to leave it just like that. Don't touch. We'll clean up the end. Try not to get any of the bearing lock inside of the oil bushing. Mm. The reason I pre-ream this is because now getting a reamer into here is really, really a challenge. So you want to make sure that that bushing has the right fit and it, it is beautiful. You're talking the steel bushing inside the... Yeah. yeah. You want to make sure that the, the mating surfaces of these is right where you want them. Then mark this bushing For or, this or tape it in here so that you can always keep these together and you know they always fit. We're going to end up taking the uh, horizontal in and out of the fuselage and so you want to make sure that this stays with that pivot point. And so we'll continue on with the others. All right, once we're done with the cleanup of the, uh, the green goo, the uh, 680, we can go ahead and put all that away. The bushings are done, and we'll move on to the slider blocks. So we'll see you on that side. All right.